Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. And in this video, I'm going to change this raised bed. Right now, you can see there are strawberries growing in it. But this is not a good spot for strawberries because this raised bed does not get any morning sun. And it starts getting sun at about 12.30 p.m. And then the sun goes away at about 5 p.m. So they do not get enough sun to set fruit. And in the last two years, we have not been harvesting any strawberries from them for that reason so I'm going to dig them up and put them in the box with water and then I'm going to refill this raised bed with some llama manure and also potting soil and I'm gonna try to grow watermelons in this area and we'll see how they do so I already set up drip irrigation here so I'm gonna be careful not to break it or damage it and then with the spade I'm gonna try to dig as deep as possible to get as much root of this strawberry plant and then I'm gonna put them in the box with water. The soil here is pretty good. As you can see, it's dark and fluffy. So I think our watermelons should do pretty well here since they require some rich and fluffy soil. We also have some earthworms in here, which is a good sign. The llama manure that I used is not composted. It's still pelleted, fresh llama manure. So it's not going to feed the plants right away. And for that purpose, I sprinkled some organic all-purpose fertilizer that will feed the plants immediately. And I'm going to try to grow for the first time this year Wilson Sweet Water watermelon that I got on Southern Exposure Seed Exchange website. Watermelons tend to sprawl and take up a lot of space, so my plan for them is to direct them into this mulched area right here where nothing really grows except for those gladioluses. I made eight holes in this raised bed. The plants will be spaced about one foot away from each other. And if some of them die, then that's fine. I'll have plenty of other plants that will live. So I'm going to make a hole that's about half an inch deep and I'll plant three seeds in one hole. That way at least one of the seeds will come up and I'll have a plant. And I'm going to do the same with the rest of the holes. So in this hole I'll plant about three seeds. Three or four seeds is fine. And then I'll simply cover the hole. And after I plant all the seeds I'm going to water the soil again and I'm going to keep it moist until all the seeds have come up. Today is May 13th and our watermelon seedlings have come up. They all look healthy. I have been watering them while they were sprouting, which helped them sprout well. And I also set up this drip irrigation and we also fertilize our watermelon seedlings and our whole garden through our irrigation system. So we'll experiment and see how they do in this raised bed. If they don't do well, then next year I'll have to find a different spot to grow watermelons. I have spotted some cucumber beetles in our garden. Cucumber beetles love to chew on watermelons also and they love to lay their eggs and then their larva feeds on the roots of watermelons and other melons. But so far our watermelon seedlings look healthy. I'll keep an eye on them. If I see some damage from cucumber beetles, I'll probably have to cover them. But we have plenty of other plants that cucumber beetles can chew on. And for now, our watermelons are okay. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.